Hello, welcome to this NASCOM special. I'm Vikram Chandra, founder of Editor G, and I have to be Girish Agarwal, who heads the India R&D Center at GE Healthcare. GE Healthcare, of course, a leading global medical technology company, it was founded as a subsidiary of GE in 1994, and earlier this month became an independent uh, entity. GE Healthcare operates in more than 160 countries. India, one of its big markets, but also critically one of its key R&D hubs, if not the key R&D hubs. And Grace, welcome to this uh, special conversation. Um, first of all, just wanted to get your sense of a wrap of 2022. Obviously, healthcare has been right up there in you know, everyone's mind uh, after the pandemic. What would be your sense of how 2022 uh, actually progressed? So uh, good morning, Vikram, and thank you firstly for the opportunity to uh, to be part of this conversation. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you and interact with you uh, as part of this, this discussion. So I think um, I would say 2022 was um, a defining year in the space of GE, in the space of healthcare, right? I would say um, we saw last year in the post-COVID uh, period, we saw a dramatic transformation in healthcare. So if you look at, if you ask me to summarize the entire year, I think the three big ones are going to be one, uh, for once we had patient at the center of the healthcare ecosystem, right? Uh, which is a major shift from what we have been traditionally used to in healthcare, where we had, it was very, very clinician centric or it was very uh, device centric or hospital centric or so on and so forth. The second major change we have seen, uh, Vikram, is the whole focus on precision health, right? So precision health, so the, the general tendency in healthcare has been that one size fits all kind of mindset. So precision health and precision medicine has been a driving force in healthcare in 2022. And lastly, we have seen a major shift in the digital transformation, thanks to uh, the various government initiatives in the post-COVID world. The digital transformation has become very, very crucial. And we are seeing it even today, uh, Vikram, as we speak. You know, we have folks who are getting onto virtual calls, talking to doctors, remote patient monitoring, virtual care. All these things are becoming uh, more and more at the center stage of how healthcare gets delivered to the masses. So I would say that these three have been the major uh, transformations what we have seen in 2022. All right, that's, that's really interesting. Just on the point of view of the technology, because obviously it was buzz and we always knew it would happen by AI and data and data-driven you know, solutions, uh, IoT, all of these were, have been buzzwords for a while. Do you think we are now finally at that tipping point where these will start to deliver concrete results that can be seen in healthcare? So let us go back and see some of the big technologies we are talking about in 2022 and 2023. One is obviously 5G, right? As uh, we discussed earlier in the call. So 5G has been, is going to be transformation in the way how healthcare is going to get delivered in the years ahead. But, but the question is how, right? So today, if you look at uh, tier two, tier three cities, it's very difficult to take healthcare to a tier two, tier three city. So as a consequence, you're fine, you see that a lot of people from tier two, tier three cities in the country come to a tier one city, right? With this comes a lot of cost. Because it's normally when a patient comes, so do, do their relatives do come along with them, right? Then there's a stay, days off from work, and so on and so forth. So that is a huge cost. Just imagine, Vikram, right? If the healthcare can, can go to tier two, tier three cities, how transformational it would, it would be. So 5G actually provides that. 5G is going to take healthcare to the last uh, village of the country uh, once we have information infrastructure in place, right? All the large uh, you know, service providers in the country are working very hard to take 5G to the remote, remotest corner of the country. So that is going to be huge transformational where you could one day have a doctor sitting in uh, a big city like Bangalore or Delhi who would be able to remotely look at a patient in the last village and even do uh, procedures remotely. So that's going to be transformational. That is definitely one. Second, if you look at AA as a technology, which you were just referring to before this, right? What does AA do, uh, Vikram? AA is basically trying to democratize the quality of healthcare delivery. That's as simple as that, right? So how does it do that? So today, if you go to a big hospital in a large city, you'll find that the technologist would be spending, or the, or the radiologist would be spending pretty much all his day in a dark room going through hundreds of CT scans, right? Yeah. The output of the CT scans depend a lot on the quality of the radiologist. Right? Some are good radiologists, you get outstanding results. Some could be average. You may, you may skip something. The same radiologist during the course of the day, after lunch, he may have some fit, uh, have some tiredness. He may miss something. There's a lot of variation between the radiologist and within the radiologist on the time of the day. Right. So what A is going to do, um, Vikram, is it's going to try to look at the data and assist the physician to give him in insights, which you will never have otherwise. Looking ahead at 2023, what would be your key forecast? What are the main things that you will be looking for and 
major changes that you think we're going to see this year? If you fast forward and see uh, 2023, end of 2023, we'll see significant progress we have done on digital transformation. Um, we will see that virtual care uh, becomes the norm and an exception. We'll see a lot of patients who would walk out of hospital quickly. They'll go home and they'll be monitored by physicians and clinicians from a different location constantly through remote patient monitoring systems. Okay, we will see digital getting to the center stage of the healthcare delivery model as we go forward. So significant transformation, but to a large extent, I would say, uh, Vikram, that the stage has been set in 2022. 23 is all about execution and taking it to the next level. Girish Rahman, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you, Vikram. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much.